Start your engines. The Detroit Auto Show, now in its 28th year, is thought of as the most important automotive event on the planet, as it is where the global automotive community comes together to reveal the future of transportation. This year, more than 500 vehicles will be on display, including some of the most innovative designs in the world, as well as never before seen debuts. Here to break it all down for us is Micah Musio, managing editor with Kelly Blue Book. Good morning, Micah. Good morning. Yeah. How are you doing? Good. Glad to have you back on the show. Tell me about what you are so excited about with this year's Detroit Auto Show. I know this is your passion. I know you're excited to be there again this year. Okay. Let me share my passion with you. Number one, staying out of the cold, which is very cold in <laughs> yes, Detroit, yes. so I've got that covered. And then number two, uh, being around super, super cool automobiles. And I am next to one super cool automobile. This is the Volvo S90. Say hello to S90. Uh, Volvo's having a heck of an auto show. They're XC90 won the North American Truck of the Year Award, and uh, a lot of the things that made that XC90 so good have been infused into the S90 luxury sedan. Um, two good examples. One, their Census infotainment system, which was uh, so intuitive and so powerful that it uh, won Kelly Blue Book's Best Auto Tech Award for 2016. And then also, here's a bit of technology I'm guessing you have not heard of, large animal detection, where the vehicle, the SC90, if you're driving it down the road and a deer leaps out in front of it, it will detect that deer uh, probably before you do, warn you of that deer, and even apply the brakes to help minimize severity of an accident. Wow. Well, and talk about 2016. You know, what are the trends that you think consumers are interested in this year? And I know gas prices are really low, which has got to be great for car sales, right? So what do you think car buyers are really looking at this year? Yeah, we um, we tend to have a short memory when it comes to gas prices. We do, we do. Uh, so I think one of the things you're going to see is people maybe spending a little bit more money on their car, maybe being a little less concerned about gas prices. So maybe they'll spring for that luxury car. And uh, I mean, to, to that end, uh, Hyundai unveiled a whole new brand of luxury car called Genesis, which as a jaded journalist, I see a lot of car introductions, but I do not see a lot of brand introductions. So this one's kind of exciting. It's a uh, the G90, it's uh, a large luxury sedan, all the things you'd expect in a luxury sedan, 22-way adjustable, uh, you know, front driver's seat, 420 horsepower V8 engine, um, you know, you've got Napa leather. But again, to that point you made about yeah, fuel economy, it also has an eight-speed automatic transmission. And by having more speeds, uh, the engine stays within its sweet spot a little bit more, and uh, you can get better fuel economy out of uh, an otherwise very powerful and luxurious vehicle. Uh, but I should also mention, uh, I would be remiss in my duties if I didn't, that we have uh, concept cars at the auto show as well. In fact, that's what people come to the auto show for, concept cars. And Kia introduced a really cool one I have to show you. This is the Telluride. It's a large SUV, and it was um, it's, it's based on the Kia Sorento platform, which is uh, their midsize. This is a big one, uh, seven passenger, kind of has the edgy styling of a uh, premium SUV. Uh, I might toss out the name Range Rover or something like that, but it's got a Kia badge on it. Uh, super cool concept with a uh, supposed to 400 horsepower hybrid system. Wow. And, uh, uh, they say it's, it would do like 30 miles per gallon on the freeway, which uh, isn't too bad. Again, just a concept, so I uh, don't know if they're going to build it, but my fingers are crossed. <laughs> well, as we close, you know, I have to ask, being a mom myself with two young kids, is there any really cool concept cars about minivans coming out soon? They get a bad oh, yeah. rap well, as, sometimes. As a new dad, I care about minivans way more than I did about <laughs> six months ago. I'm sure and you uh, one really cool one is the Chrysler Pacifica. And, man, this is a, the epitome of a cool van, you know, because a van's like a box on wheels, but uh, they've done a great job making it sleek and uh, not looking so slab-sided, but uh, two really great features. One, five latch points. So if you somehow have five kids in car seats, the, uh, the Chrysler Pacifica is a great way to go. And an another nifty one, uh, if you uh, kick your foot underneath the side sliding doors, they will open automatically. Uh, it's a touch-free sliding door system, and I can think of a zillion occasions where that would really come in handy. Yeah, me too. That's awesome. Well, Micah, you have fun. Is there a website you want to send us to this morning? Yes, there is a website. Yeah. I would love you to go to kellybluebookskbb.com. That's where I work. And there's a ton of great coverage of the entire Detroit Auto Show. If you want to buy or sell a car, kbb.com. All right. Sounds good. Thank you, Micah. Thank you. We, of course, will put more info on our website, fox4morningblend.com. And speaking of cars, how about what it takes to power those wheels? It's today's app of the day. It's called Gas Buddy. It helps you find the cheapest gas prices in your area, and it even helps you find gas stations by your location. It's easy to follow maps and price comparisons for gas stations. It's really just a simple way to ease the pain at the pump, and it's available at the App Store and Google Play. So check it out.
And now that your gas gauge is on full, where you need to go to be on the road to a brighter smile. Up next, the doctor that can help, and he's just a short car ride away.